Welcome, my name is Gaj Pakamashek and in this video I'm going to show you how to filter this table of countries to this list of countries using Power Query or Power BI since it's the same engine. Let's go! Okay, first off, let's set the groundwork. So what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate the filter step of the query to make it do exactly what we want it to do. So filter to our list. Now the use cases for this are endless and we're going to start off by just showing you how it's done and then i'm going to take some time and i'm going to actually discuss with you uh, the possibilities of how you can use this okay so without further ado let's jump into it so first off we'll create a query that references this table we do that by just selecting any cell within the table data and from table range so we just shoot this into power query now, once we have this in Power Query, you're going to notice that there's another query that I already did, which is this list of countries. That's to the second table in our Excel. Basically, what we need to do with this second one before we head off with our main query is to turn it into a list, right? The whole point of this is filtering by a list. And at this point, this is a table. So what we do is we select the country column we say transform and what we say is convert to list. So click convert to list. And now this is a list. You notice how the icon changed. Now we have a list of countries that is actually a list in Power Query. And now we're going to use this to filter our main table. Now the way we do this is first we just create a dummy filter. So we say Let's say this and this. We go OK. Now, the reason we did this is just to get this step or rather to get this syntax up here. Because now that we have this syntax up here, now we can say, OK, I actually don't want you to do any of this. Right. So I don't want you to hard code it to any country. What I want you to do is to use a function and the function is called list.contains. So list contains, and it only has two parameters. The first one is the list, and our list is list of countries, right? That is our list. And then the second parameter is the column within which you want to search that. Now, by just writing this, you set the groundwork, but now the main part comes over here when you say equals true. This is the heart of it, right? Where you say the list needs to contain this. And this is not just the heart of it, it's also the biggest piece of it, because if this is false, then you get all of those that are not contained within the list, right? Um, so it's you can use it either way. So once you say this, enter, and now you have your list of 10 countries, right? So this list, is now reflected within our table. So the table has been filtered to our list. And if I now say close and load to, and I now select the result tab, uh, somewhere there, go okay. And this is it. So now we have our resulting table. Simple as that. Okay, now that we did it, Let's take a moment and discuss why this is such a brilliant thing. So number one, if I go back to the data tab, it took me quite a while, but I got this list to contain Slovenia. And now to re reflect this in a result, all I need to do is right click refresh. And now I have Slovenia in here. It's, it's as simple as that. It's dynamic now. But at this point, my original list is just ran betweens, right? So it's a random list of 10 countries from the table. But it doesn't need to be a random list. It could be a top 10 by a certain measure or a bottom 10 by another measure. It could be a percentile or some sort of statistical calculation. It could be anything you want. And that's the brilliance of it. So you can get this list dynamically and then 
filter your entire table by this list. Brilliant. Alright, that's it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.